Mi A3 smartphone has 6.01 inch Super AMOLED touch screen display with 80.3 screen to body ratio and a spec ratio of 19.5 by 9. It has a protection of Gorilla Glass 5 on front as well as on back side. It has in display fingerprint sensor with an image density of 286 ppi. This smartphone has an octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 11nm processor and packed with 4GB and 6GB of RAM. Mi A3 on the back has triple camera setup that consists on 48MP main shooter with 1.8 aperture and the second one is 13mm 8MP ultrawide sensor with 2.2 aperture and the third one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front the smartphone has 32MP fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Android 9.0 Pi and packs 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB that uses shared SIM slot. This device is powered by 4030 mAh battery with 18 watt of fast battery charging as well as 3.0 quick charge. Moto G8 powered smartphone is a mid-range gaming device that launched February 2020. It comes with 6.4 inches IPS LCD punch hole display with 85.1% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 20 by 9. It is protected by corn gorilla glass on front as well as aluminum frame body on the back side of smartphone. It has rear mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 399 ppi. Moto G8 powered smartphone is based on 1.8 to 2.0 GHz octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 11nm processor with Adreno 610 GPU and packed with 4 GB of RAM. The Adreno 610 GPU boosts a 64-bit quad-core CPU architecture and advanced 4G LTE to power balance and performance and provides smooth gaming experience. Moto G8 powered smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 26mm wide 16MP main shooter with 1.7 aperture and 1.12 micropixel size. The main camera provides a feature of autofocus, optical image stabilization, face detection autofocus, 4K video recording as well as slow motion. It records slow motion at the rate of 960 frames per second in HD and HD plus resolutions. And the second one is 8MP telephoto lens with 2.2 aperture and provide 2x optical zoom. The third one is 13mm 8MP ultrawide sensor with 2.2 aperture and 1.12 micron pixel size. The fourth one is 2MP dedicated macro camera with 2.2 aperture which is used to capture the tiny object with more details. On the front the smartphone has 16MP fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Android 10 and packed with 64GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by micro SDX card uses shared SIM slot. SDXC is the latest type of memory card which meets the demand of full HD recording in terms of capacity and speed. Moto G8 powered smartphone is powered by 5000 mAh battery with 15W fast battery charging support. <laughs> Realme 5S smartphone has 6.5 inches IPS LCD capacitor display with 82.7% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio 20 by 9. It is protected by Gorilla Glass 3 Plus on the front of the smartphone. It has rear mounted fingerprint sensor with an image density of 269 ppi. Realme 5S smartphone is based on 1.8 to 2.0 GHz octa core Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 11nm processor with Adreno 610 GPU and packed with 4 GB of RAM. Realme 5S smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 48 MP main shooter with 1.8 aperture and 0.9 micron pixel size. And the second one is 13mm 8MP ultrawide sensor with 2.2 aperture. And the third one is 2MP dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture. And the fourth one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. Realme 5S smartphone has a feature to record video in HDR and HDR plus mode with 30 frames per second. On the front the smartphone has 26mm wide 13MP fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Color OS 6 based on Android 9.0 Pi and packed with 64 and 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB with dedicated SD card slot. Realme 5S smartphone is powered by a 5000 mAh battery with 10 watt of charging support. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone has 6.38 inches Super AMOLED capacitor display with 83.4% screen to body ratio and aspect ratio of 19.5 by 9. It is protected by Corning Gorilla Glass on the front as well as glass stick material on the back side of the smartphone. It has under display fingerprint sensor with an image density of 404 ppi. 
Vivo S14 smartphone is based on 1.8 to 2.0 GHz octa-core Snapdragon 665 11nm processor with Adreno 610 GPU and packed with 8 GB of RAM. Snapdragon 65 extend our third generation Qualcomm artificial intelligence engine to improve mobile feature better camera performance, better security performance and better gaming performance. And Qualcomm Spectre 165 image signal processor provide high quality shots in almost any setting. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone has diamond shaped quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 48 megapixel main shooter with 1.8 aperture and 0.8 micron pixel size. Vivo S1 Pro Global having features like autofocus, continuous shooting, digital zoom, geotagging, panorama HDR, touch to focus, face detection, white balance setting, ISO setting and self timer. Main camera also provides a feature to record 4K as well as slow motion video in HDR plus mode. And the second one is 13mm 8MP ultra wide center with 2.2 aperture and 1.12 micron pixel size. And the third one is 2MP dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture which is used to capture small objects like insects and flowers for better clarity. The fourth one is 2MP depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. On the front the smartphone has 26mm wide 32MP fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone runs 1.9.2 based on Android 9.0 Pi and packed with 128 GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256 GB that uses shared SIM slot. Vivo S1 Pro smartphone is powered by 4500 mAh battery with 18 watt of fast battery charging support that can be charged 100% just in 80 to 90 minutes. Oppo A9 smartphone has 6.5 inches IPS LCD capacity with display with 82.5% screen to body ratio and a spec ratio of 20 by 9. It has a production of Gorilla Glass 5 on front and encased in a beautiful 3D design for better grip. A9 smartphone is not waterproof but it may sustain a few splashes of water for some instant. It has rear mounted fingerprint sensor with an image that shifts to 270 ppi. Oppo A9 smartphone is based on 1.8 to 2.0 Octa-core Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 11nm processor and packed with 4GB and 8GB of RAM. Snapdragon 665 is a mid-range 64-bit ARM LTE system on a chip designed by Qualcomm and introduced in early 2019. Qualcomm Snapdragon 665 mobile platform provides high intelligent experiences for great mobile gaming, brilliant camera performance and take remarkable high quality shots in almost any setting with remarkable quality. Oppo A9 smartphone has quad camera setup on the rear that consists of 48 megapixel main shooter with 1.8 aperture and the second one is 13mm 8 megapixel ultra wide sensor with 2.3 aperture and 3x optical zoom and third one is 2 megapixel dedicated macro camera with 2.4 aperture that enables user to focus on the subject close to the camera lens. Macro mode is commonly used to photographing flowers insects and other small items that you want to close up view of. And the fourth one is 2 megapixel depth sensor with 2.4 aperture. Furthermore, the camera software includes features such as all portrait mode, panorama, ultra wide mode 2.0, time lapse, slow motion and pro mode. The ultra wide mode 2.0 makes use of HDR and multi frame technology to ensure the device support up to 4K video recording at 30 frames per second and offers for shooting blur free video even when you are on the move. This feature allows wholesome photography and video shooting experience to the social media users. On the front, this smartphone has 26mm wide 16MP fixed focus camera with 2.0 aperture. It runs Oxygen 6.1 based on Android 9.0 Pi and packed with 128GB of inbuilt storage that can be expanded by a micro SD card up to 256GB. Oppo A9 smartphone is powered by 5000mAh battery with no fast charging support but it supports reverse charge. It's not a unique feature by any means but it's rare in this price range.